we have a form on our page and by default it's going to be blank. But let's imagine that we could get these values to pre-fill the form from a request. Well, we can do that and we can use the set form values action to set the values of our input fields within the form. To do that, we're going to create a new action. We're going to call it set form values. And we're going to select type element. Under attribute, we're going to select our form element, which we have here, form submission example. And under action, we're going to choose set form values. All right, and now we're going to open our code editor. Here, we have to return an object that reflects the structure of our form. We can look here in the forms tab that we have a form and it has three properties, nickname, favorite color, and page. Now, we don't have to set all three of those values. We can just set one if we wanted to. And we have to return an object just like we have here. So we're going to write return object. And here, we're going to set first the nickname property. Now, this property we could either set to a string like so. And if we look at our form, we can see that the value has been set. But let's say we wanted to get this value dynamically. Here we have a get Pokemon's request and we want to set the nickname to the name of the first Pokemon. Well, we can just select the field here in the request and that's it. And let's say we wanted to also add another property. We wanted to set the favorite color property. So what we're going to do here is write comma at the end, and then we're going to write favorite color. And this value, we're just going to hard code for now, like so. And just like that, we can see that we're setting values for the inputs within our form. And we can see the changes reflected here immediately. But what if we had a list of forms? So here we can see we're getting some data from our backend and we wanted to set the values of these forms accordingly. Well, we already have a render list action in place here that's rendering a list of items based on this array over here. But now we're going to learn how to dynamically set these values up. So we're going to create a new action for that. I'm going to call it set response form values under type, I'm going to select element. Here, we're going to target our form, which is form response Xano. And under settings, we're going to choose once again, set form values. And now we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to write return and we're going to return an object. One tip, if you're not sure what the properties are of the form, you can write the following. You write F for forms, you write the name of your form, which is form response Xano. Since we're in a list, we have to write the index, which is going to be zero for the first form. And then if we write dot, we can see which properties we have. We have again, favorite color, nickname and page. So we're just going to use these values. We're going to write favorite color. We had nickname and we had page. And as you might expect, the form values we're going to get from our request. So we have the request called get Xano items. And here we're going to find favorite color. Here we're going to find nickname. And we're going to find the page. In our request, it's called current page. And now we have to do one more thing here. We have to add commas here between the properties in the object. Otherwise, this is not going to work. And just like that, we are setting all of the forms to the first item because this zero is hard coded. But we want to replace this zero to v.i, which is our iterator variable or index variable. And just like that, the value is going to be set dynamically. If we now refresh the page, and we execute this request once again. We can see that all the form values have been set. And that's how you can use the set form values action to set 
input values within your form. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.